Hey y'all, thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Julie and this is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel. If you're interested in easy delicious recipes on a weekly basis, and if this is your first time here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to fix butter pecan cookies. If you have seen any of my other videos, you know I love quick, easy, and delicious recipes, and this is gonna be one of those, another one of those, so let's do it. In my pan, I have some butter. We're gonna turn this on right between medium and high, and to it, we're gonna add some chopped pecans. We're gonna to toast those lightly, and then also while we're over here, we're gonna go ahead and cut the oven on to 375. Cookies are definitely one of my favorite things to bake. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite thing to bake is. All right, those are toasted perfectly, so we're gonna set those aside, and while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and melt two sticks of butter this is for just a little bit later in the recipe. While the butter's melting, let me cut that down just a little bit, that might be a little high. <laughs> in a large mixing bowl, I'm going to put two and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And then also the exact measurements and ingredients are gonna be listed below and also on my Instagram page, The Retro Apron, that's all one word. You can find it there as well. So make sure you check it out. So I have my flour. Now I'm gonna add some cornstarch, some salt, cinnamon, and baking soda. We're just gonna whisk that together, make sure all of those dry ingredients are combined, and we're gonna set that to the side. In a separate bowl, we are going to add our melted butter, and we actually want this to get just a little bit browned. Don't burn it, but let it get just a little bit brown. All right, pouring this hot butter into this bowl very carefully. And to our melted butter, we're gonna add one cup of granulated sugar and one cup of dark brown sugar. I'm just gonna mix this together with a spatula. We are going to add vanilla and two eggs, one at a time. To this mixture, we're going to add in our toasted pecans that we started out with. Now we're taking our flour mixture and I'm gonna add about half of it, stir it, and then add the other half. This smells so good. All right, we're gonna have a nice thick batter there and that's all we have to do for the ingredients. Now we're just gonna put it in the refrigerator for anywhere from four hours to two days. I actually mixed up a batch earlier this morning and have had it in the refrigerator all day. So it's gonna be like magic. I'm gonna put this in and pull the other one out. And we're just going to roll this into balls, put it on our cookie sheet. We're gonna press a pecan down on top of each one. Now we're gonna put these in the oven for about nine minutes. All right, these are ready to come out of the oven. We're gonna take them off of the pan to cool for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna give them a try. I have definitely waited long enough to try these. They smell so good. I'm really excited about this. Oh my gosh. This is the epitome of the perfect cookie. I promise. <laughs> you take them out of the oven when they're still just a little gooey in the center. Oh my gosh. Absolutely delightful. Mm. I hope y'all will give these cookies a try and love them as much as I do. They are delicious. Thank y'all so much for stopping in today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make the great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.